Welcome to episode 47 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification in Depth Training Podcast, brought to you by Bright Flux. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim, and today we're diving into the depths of cross platform data sharing in Snowflake. This episode is tailored to arm you with all the knowledge needed to excel in your certification exam, focusing on comprehensive insights into cross platform data sharing within the Snowflake ecosystem. Let's get started. Data sharing is integral to modern analytics allowing organizations to seamlessly exchange and access data without the need to copy or transfer physical files. Snowflake revolutionizes this concept through its unique architecture and design. Firstly, we'll explore the fundamentals of Snowflake's data sharing capabilities outlining the architecture that enables this feature. Snowflake's architecture separates compute from storage allowing for efficient data sharing across different Snowflake accounts. Moreover, we'll delve into secure data sharing Snowflake's mechanism for sharing live read-only access to your data with other Snowflake users. This does not require data replication or movement, ensuring high security and data integrity. Additionally, we'll talk about how this facilitates collaboration across different organizations and platforms. Another critical aspect is the sharing between Snowflake accounts hosted on different cloud platforms. Interestingly, Snowflake supports cross-platform data sharing, allowing accounts on, say, AWS to share data with accounts on Azure or Google Cloud Platform. This feature is pivotal for businesses operating across multiple cloud environments, ensuring seamless data collaboration. Furthermore, we'll unpack the technicalities of setting up cross-platform data sharing, including the role of data providers and data consumers and the permissions and governance required to ensure secure and effective data sharing. Also, it's crucial to understand the different ways to share data in Snowflake, such as through secure shares or reader accounts and when each method is most appropriate. Besides, We'll discuss the potential challenges and limitations associated with cross-platform data sharing, providing tips on how to mitigate these issues. For instance, network latency and cross-cloud data transfer costs can impact the performance and efficiency of data sharing. We'll cover strategies to minimize these impacts and ensure a smooth data sharing process. Lastly, best practices for managing and optimizing cross-platform data sharing in Snowflake will be covered. This includes tips on monitoring shared data usage, managing consumer access, and optimizing resources for cost-effective sharing. In conclusion, cross-platform data sharing in Snowflake is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance collaboration and data accessibility across diverse environments. As we've discovered, understanding the nuances of this feature is key to leveraging it effectively and passing the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification Exam. Thank you for joining me, Yakub Abdul Hakim, on this in-depth exploration of cross-platform data sharing in Snowflake. Remember, mastering the concepts discussed today is crucial for your success in the certification exam and your career. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll uncover another essential topic in the world of Snowflake. Until then, keep learning and keep sharing. Goodbye.